what is this confusion about branding marketing and promoting there are three different things what i see is that the mindset is i want to get customers immediately so that i can sell them and i can get money there are these three no like and trust factors before you can be considered authority figure and then people will buy you need to increase these factors this is why the majority of the times when you contact someone or when someone is contacted by your ads they don't buy immediately if you have great ads with a great hook you can grab their attention and then they are going to check what you have to offer but anyway they don't know you yet when you go and check the, the marketing that the pros do you will see that when you click on the ads you go into a landing page you let your information's name and email so that they can start emailing you and nurture you and make themselves known so that you will like them and then will trust them and only then you are going to buy just after this the next page that you see in the landing page in the funnels website is a story about them why it is not some random stuff it is because they must be sure that the no like and trust factors that you have towards them increases immediately they are telling you their story what is their purpose their mission what are the core values that they follow so that the people who are following the same core values can identify more with them so the story is the first thing that they use then he or she presents the core values for example if we say Russell Bronson you will see that from time to time he speaks about his religion his charities uh, towards children in third world and so on and so forth so these are some core values but basically to help entrepreneurs to be successful using funnels and what happens is that the professional established his or her brand i am this one this is my story this is my mission and these are my core values these three factors create the brand now this is the only part of the whole business that no one can do but the owner of the business the source of that group or business this is done creating content because people must know who is the person who started everything the purpose and goals setter and then they have to know what he or she believes in or the group believes in and then what are key rules this person or this group uses as firm and standard policies to drive the group and give the results that he or she or the group promises this is very important you cannot delegate this to someone else so this is branding you create a brand with a picture which will make you notice it amongst the mass and this picture will have a message which is the mission and the core values which are the policy the rules by which this brand is run so this is something that you cannot leave to someone else it must be really clear why because this is what is called pre framing what is the difference someone who is successful in selling and someone who is not the first guy who is successful is known is liked and is trusted all the salesmen of the world good salesmen know that people buy you as first and then your products or services because products or services can be found everywhere okay a lot of them but you there is only one of you now that you have the brand so you establish it who you are with your story what's your mission or purpose and what are your core values or policies which will run your business or company or group now you have the base this is what you are this is the b part of all all around you can read about the b do have b do have these are the three conditions of life you can find this explain it in the book a new science of life of elron albert this principle you do have have been explained discovered extrapolated from studies in life and observation from elron albert 50 years ago 
how do you make this then known? Here comes the promotion. By definition, that you can find into the OEC Volume Zero Organization Executive Course. A big volume about how to run a company. You can find it in the Italian version, page 519. But you can find it also in other books of Edron Abbott. Make something known and make so that people think good about it. More or less, I translated it from the Italian because I don't have the English OEC Volume. I studied the Italian one. You speak about something, publish about something, and you publish in a way that people start thinking good about that something. So with promotion, which is an action, publishing, speaking, with video, text, blog, blog, newspaper, magazines, whatever, you make your brand known and you make so that people think good about your brand. Can you see the difference now? You are a brand B. And then you make actions to make the brand known, emitting communications in all the possible channels. And this is do. So first be, then do. Now, the mission of your brand is to create final results. These are the products or services that your brand provides. Now that you have a brand and you make it known, branding and promotion, of course you must be able to create those results under the form of physical digital products or services and once you have them you have to package them in a good way it can be a physical packaging or a visual packaging in case of digital products and now that you package it in a good way you put this service or product in the hands of the final customers and this is marketing you can see that promoting permeates both branding because you do actions to make yourself known and make so that people think good about your brand and also permeates the marketing because makes your product service known and makes so that people think good about them so your brand and your marketing are glued from the promotion this is how it works. Why I'm telling you this? Because you cannot delegate the branding. You are the face of your brand, of your company, of your group. Russell Bronson is the face of the Peak Funnels brand. Grant Cardone is the face of the Tenex brand, and so on and so forth. What you can delegate are the other two parts, the do and have. What is this culture? which create a brand, it's just this. What you are, you tell this with your study. What's your mission and purpose? Your community, movement, a company, group, and then the core values, which are the policies which run your group. And the mission says what will be marketed as final value or product. This is a lot of stuff, guys. It can be boring, but if you don't define this, if you don't understand this stuff, you will be always confused in what you have to do. But making your brand known through promotion and making your service or products known through marketing, these two can be delegated. But the first one, the branding, the brand, you cannot delegate the brand. Okay, I have something else to do, so I let another person do the branding. No, 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 no. Branding is your own personal thing. The source of the information, the source of the solution is you otherwise you are promoting someone else and someone else is going to be the brand you can easily see this for example in click funnels you speak about click funnels you think about Russell Bronson but you don't think about the co-founder who is the one who coded click funnels without that person Russell Bronson would have not been the face of click funnels and that person is not less important than Russell Bronson. So the face of ClickFunnels is Russell Bronson, but you don't know who is the other guy who is as much important as Russell Bronson because he codes the software. But only Russell Bronson did the branding. The other guy is almost unknown. Once you do the marketing, the third aspect, the have, through promotion, there is part of doing is inside also be because you have to do the action to create your brand and you don't have to do the action to market your service or product.
marketing is creating packaging and distribution of the service so that it is available to people to buy and then there is buying and closing these are two other different things because delivering putting the books into the libraries doesn't sell them someone has to sell them and this is the second part of the entire entire stuff you don't know this company but you heard that this company called it oil co is destroying this in amazonia then you will find out what are the products of this company amazing products that make people rejuvenate are you going to buy them no because someone made a negative promotion about this brand so you are not going to buy anything even if they market their products why because the branding and the promotion created the preframe and how this company is positioned compared to your core value it can be that this is not true that this is a lie that competitors spread around and this is called a black PR black public relations so that this company created this amazing products maybe are not destroying at all the trees in Amazonia cannot sell the products so that this other company which spread lies about this oil co company can sell its products so we must see the source but now what happened in your mind this oil co company thanks to these black PRs is positioned in a low position compared to your core values and you're not going to buy anything from them. Now, let's say that the first thing that you read about this Oilcom is that they have amazing products and they also spending money to help the recovery of the Amazonian forest. This immediately position this company, Oilco, in this second case, on top of your core values. So this is why branding is important and promotion is important because it position you your company, your community, your group into the mind of your potential customers in a positive way with high value or negative way and low value. And you are going to spend a lot of money to convince people to buy your product. This is why branding is so important. Branding is important and promotion will make so that people know about the brand and think that the brand is something good. It will be easier to do the marketing which is creating packaging and delivering the service or products because more places will be okay to get your products or services because you, with a good promotion you have well branded your company and they will accept your products and services and then they can be sold and the promotion done about the brand and the promotion done from marketing the do part of we do have this three condition of existence will make it easier to sell the stuff so this is why Russell Bronson, Grant Cardone can sell tons of stuff while you cannot. Because you don't have a clear brand, you are not known, you are not liked and you are not trusted from enough people. This is why. Another person will become the face of your company and if that person leaves, all the people will go away. So what happens? Let's speak again about Russell Bronson and the co-founder of ClickFunnels. If Russell Bronson goes and creates another brand and another company, a lot of people will follow Russell Bronson and ClickFunnels will lose a lot of customers and the co-founder, the coder of ClickFunnels will lose a lot of money because all the branding have been done from one person, Russell Bronson. So if you let the branding of your company, he or she will become the face and you will disappear. This is why you can only delegate promotion and marketing but you cannot delegate the branding thank you for watching remember there is always something to learn and a lot to learn ciao